Doug, thank you. Springfield School District 186 is working to improve literacy programs for students. Statewide changes are already being made to literacy guidelines, but last night, District 186 focused on new recommendations. It's something the district does every several years. It was brought up at last night's school board meeting. This comes after many raised concerns over the new program, not including phonics-based learning, which is the old-fashioned way of learning that focuses on sounding out words. But some school officials don't share these concerns over the new program. It also includes, you know, also phonemic awareness, being able to put letters and sounds together, uh, morphology and encoding and decoding of words. So we don't teach sounding out specifically, but we do have a long uh, list of approaches that we utilize to teach structured literacy. The new elementary curriculum is proposed to be called Benchmark Advanced. Now the district says it focuses on the teaching side and gives educators more tools to identify when a student isn't picking up quickly. The cost of the program is $1.9 million. It'll be voted on at the next board meeting on March 18th. And if approved, it will go into effect for this upcoming next school year. This comes as a report shows many Illinois kids are not reading at their level. Many officials say it's time to make a change. And our Carson Gordy met with local teachers and has more on how they're working to improve education in our state. In the recent Nations Report card, only 62% of fourth graders in Illinois read at a basic reading level, and only a third of them are considered proficient. A, a lot of our literacy scores in a lot of states are stagnant. I wouldn't say Illinois is like remarkably worse. Than all of us should be doing better for our kids. Illinois introduced a new statewide literacy plan. It adopts more evidence-based approaches, meaning the teaching methods used have been proven to produce positive results after being validated by outside studies. One thing that the literacy plan says specifically around phonics is that it needs to be sequential and explicit direct instruction. According to the National Literacy Trust, phonics helps kids blend sounds of letters together and helps them decode unfamiliar or unknown words by sounding them out. Because yeah, a lot of times it's, you know there's a cat because it's a picture of a cat, but you don't know that k uh, at, you know. You don't know how to break that down. So. But many schools in the state utilize picture books or memorization to learn more words. But Handy says that method can become less effective over time as words become more complex and longer. Kindergarten, first grade, second grade, look, they can fake it pretty well. You know, third grade, fourth grade, the pictures are gone. And now that kid is really struggling to understand what they read. School districts in Illinois are not required to adopt the statewide literacy plan. It's optional. We're, we're hopeful that it'll catch on in more places. I think we're already, we're already really seeing that we're already seeing quite a bit of support on the ground for for school districts. Thank you Carson. The State Board of Education is required to provide training exercises for teachers who want to use the new standards and starting in 2025 teachers will need to pass a literacy knowledge test to get their license. And in honor of National Reading Month, Sinclair Broadcast Group is partnering with Reading is Fundamental to support children's literacy. Sinclair Cares supporting children's literacy seeks to create awareness and help get books into the hands of kids all across the country. To join our virtual book drive, scan this QR code up on your screen or go to SinclairCares.com. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.